this is one video in a series of notebook videos where I'm going to show you how to do different ways to add napkins to the front of a notebook and different ways to decorate the inside of these notebooks for fast presents that are personal and easy to do and not very expensive. So it's an economical gift. Uh, great for just to hand somebody as a thank you, to put in a Santa sack, to just wrap and have uh, matching something else. It's up to you. But there's going to be a series of these, so subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to be notified of all the videos in this series. we're going to turn a little cheap notebook into a very nice gift. I'm going to use paper napkin on the front and washi tape inside to decorate the pages. And this is a very simple method of decorating the pages. I've got more books to come with more intricate designs, uh, but this is just a quite a a quick easy with just one washi tape. We happen to have a lot of that tape and uh, as you can see it's green and red and the design on the front is green and red so I thought it went well with it and so I've just added the washi tape and all the off cuts I didn't waste. I just added it to another page. I've got a couple of pages in there like that. I'll see if I can find the other page. There we are. There's another page and then there's one at the back I'm wor working on. There we are. So uh, that just adds a little bit of uh, character and difference to the other pages. But this would make a nice little gift for Christmas. It's easy to do, really not much technical skill required. But the first thing we need to do is get the cover off. Now this book I got, if you're in Australia, I got this from Kmart for I think $2.25. You can get it in black and you can get it in that cardboard colour. And uh, it's got a hard cover and ruled lines. They also have some that are a softer cover. See it's more flexible. Only in that colour cover. And they have a uh, a metal spine whereas that has a black spine but all the pages in there are sketchbook pages and it's quite a good quality sketch paper it's got a bit of thickness to it so you could I'm going to actually decorate both these types of books in following videos in lots of different ways but just to show you how to take the cover off I'm going to show you how to take the cover off these. You actually turn it over to the back and just inside the back you can see that there's a uh, these little pieces that are separate. So what I do is I go in and I pull them apart, open it up a little bit to start with. Because it's just inside the back cover you've actually got to take the back cover off to get the front cover off. So then I bring this over and I just pull that out as you can see like that and then I can bring the front cover over and do the same thing and get it out. To put it back in we just do the reverse. We just pop it back in again just lining up all the holes and pulling it into position. It's not that hard to do. There we are and see it's back on again like that. It's quite easy to do. Once I've got um, that back on and this back on I would just squeeze these together again. Uh, the other thing I do with these is if I'm adding extra thickness to the inside what I do is I while I've got the spine off I take a few of these pages out so that the book doesn't uh, pop open and bulge this is sitting not too bad because I've taken a few out but if I hadn't taken a few out you'd, you'd see the book popping out there and you'd see this sitting more open not as um, even and flat as that is. So 
let's get started with the front cover to start with now the first thing I do with the front cover is I paint it white I prefer to use a sponge rather than a, a paintbrush I like to use a round flat sponge to dob on the paint like a little textured finish but it also doesn't leave the lines that a paintbrush does so that's virtually all I do with a bit of paint to get this nice and white and then I let it dry completely the next thing I do is I choose a, a napkin and I store my napkins in a little book like this so it's easy to just flip through and see what I have and these napkins I get from Ninny's napkins so you can look in the comments below and you'll see a link and also a discount code if you're interested because there's some really pretty napkins in here now the napkin I want today is I want one with a white background because that's got a white background and it'll just blend in the same as this one did you can't see where the napkin finishes and the paint begins because these napkins don't reach all the way up to the top of the book so the book is not completely covered with napkin now the name of this napkin will be appearing on the screen and if you want to know about storing napkins there is a video I have on how I store and sort my napkins so that it's easy to find them now I want this napkin and I think I like that big bit in the middle to go all the way across the front there like that so I'm going to cut out this half but I don't want a straight edge on my napkin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these layers away from the top layer I'll take the bottom layers off I'll get it right eventually there's one layer it still looks pasty white so you know there's another layer there and I've just damped my fingers a bit and it helps to pull the napkin away from the the top layer and then because I haven't, I've got stubby little fingers I can't get my fingers between the napkins once I've pulled that layer apart I just put that blade down in between the two layers just to get a bit of a finger hold and then peel that final layer off you don't have to be too precious but just don't be too rough because the more layers you peel off the more fragile this gets see that just ripped there I was pulling a bit too hard luckily I was pulling on the thing I didn't want now I'm just going to have a look at this again and yes I like that big bit going up in the middle there I think um, yep I'm going to get a um, brush and I'm going to dip it in some water and I'm just going to get a rough edge torn around this picture notice I hold the side that I want to keep and I pull on the side I don't want to keep to protect the bit I want to keep from tearing now this dries, dries out pretty quickly because I don't put lots and lots of water on it I sometimes you've got to keep coming back to it with a brush now I'm leaving some white so I've got to be very careful when I've got too much water that I don't pull too much off there we are so that's what I've got now sorry that's what I've got now and I position that on there where I want it to be I think I want it more that way now I'm using Mod Podge to put this on but I'm watering it down uh, I have a little bottle I pour my Mod Podge into and I uh, put extra water in there just to um, get it diluted quite a bit because I want this to soak through that napkin really easily through to the surface underneath so put that in position there and just start pushing it out from the middle in all directions and because that's quite thin 
thinned out it just soaks through the napkin quite easily don't push too hard on your napkin and allow it to tear because as soon as that napkin's wet it's flimsy it's very easily ripped now as you can see once it's glued on you can barely see the difference between the napkin and the white background make sure it's glued right to the edges and even over here over the holes I come back later with just a little blade a cutting blade like this once it's completely dry and just cut the paper out of those holes make sure there's plenty of glue on your brush at all times you start brushing with a dry brush and you are going to tear your napkin better off having too much that you've got to wipe off than too little and tear your napkin because once this is on and wet it's not coming off now what you need to do is go over and make sure there's no air bubbles and wrinkles that could be pushed down this will not be perfectly smooth but you'll find that some of the bubbles and wrinkles can be flattened with a soft brush so just check that out and make sure that you haven't missed anything I'm going to cover the whole thing with glue so that it has a, a consistent finish to this and uh, the Mod Podge comes in a gloss or a matte finish so it's up to you which you use it's not the only glue around um, that will do this job but that's the one I'm using and as you can see you've got a really pretty little um, picture on the front there now this is what you can do too because it's wet you can actually come to the edge and tear it but be very gentle that you're not tearing what needs to be on top there if it's not wet enough on the edges it'll start to tear on the surface here so make sure it's wet right to those edges if you're going to tear it off and we can do the same here and I'm finding now that I'm lifting this up and looking at it in a different light I'm seeing other lumps and bumps so it's a good idea to to lift it up and uh, move it in a couple of different ways to see if there's anything um, there that needs to be glued down further but here's this is another way you can tear this off you've got all the bits and pieces now I've got things sticking to me that's not good so I don't want to tear this now let's have a look at the back here it's peeled over and I don't want it sticking on the inside so peel that back doesn't matter if it tears on this side peel that off so that you've got none of it sticking to the inside of the book and then you can bring it back and rip those edges off if you just remember these are fragile they're not hard to work with napkins are a great thing I use them for all sorts of decorations and I can draw and paint but you know sometimes you just want to do something quickly and you don't want to spend hours and hours on it and these little books are just notebooks that eventually they'll get thrown away they somebody might keep them for might have something special in them they'll keep but other people will just use them for for a notebook and once all the pages are used up it'll go in the bin so you know you're not going to spend hours and hours on something that's going to be thrown in the bin so there we are there's the front of that book which is exactly the same way as I did the front of that book and now you would let that dry and then I would come back with my blade and just cut through these holes here now that this is dry I'll just show you how I take the paper out from the holes here I just put this in either side here cut it there cut it there and it's out there we are gone and that's it there's a hole so as you can see cut it opposite sides and pull it out and there it is all done as you can see by this little notebook here I've actually um, stuck a little thing inside the front cover um, so that I can if it's a gift I can write in there uh, a little to such and such with love from or whatever um, or a little message or you could leave it blank for the person to write a little 
um, something in there to do with what they're going to put inside the book. number of different ways that that could be used. You could put odd ones through the book too if you wanted. But um, what I have is I have a number of these that a friend gave me actually and I've got all these different ones here. So uh, what I would do is put one inside the front cover of this once the um oh look and, and i've got options see there's the back as well so i'll just show you how i'm going to uh put that on 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 the inside i have another but this is still wet so i've got another cover that I, it needs one of these on the inside all i do is take some double-sided tape and with double side tape, I always make sure that it goes into the corners of whatever I'm sticking on. It doesn't have to go all the way along the edge. There can be gaps, but I need to make sure that it's actually in the corner on every corner. And then the other thing I do is I put a bit of tape across the middle there and I peel that bit off because then that bit is sitting lower than these. And I can put this in position wherever I want it to be until I'm happy with it. it's not sticking yet. It won't stick until I push it in the middle. Once I've pushed it in the middle, I can then lift these corners and peel off the other tape. And it's not going to move out of place either. So for those who have trouble getting their uh, cards or card stock into position when you've when you're doing card making or scrapbooking or whatever paper arts uh, this is a nice little trick i was taught that helps you to get it in position and stay there while you're sticking it that's for the inside of the book and then the next step is decorating the pages so let's have a look at how i go about that and what i did with this particular book is i had a big roll of this tape and as you can see it's green and red and I saw this actually, I saw this design on for, on YouTube in somebody else's book. Now, they weren't showing you how to do it, but when I saw what was inside their book, I thought, oh, I know how to do that, that's really easy. Uh, so I thought I'd show you guys. So I'm almost finished this book, I'm at to the back, is where that scrappy page is. I leave a piece of paper in there so I can easily find it. So every time I want to get rid of a little scrap of uh, washi tape, that's what I do. Now, with these, I've done a few different ways. I've put it along the edge on um, one side or the other. Where it's torn on both sides, it doesn't have a straight edge to the tape. I've just made it look like it's cracks going through the page. If it's got a straight edge, I've put it to a straight edge. Now, I was putting it along where the line ended there. And I did that on a few of them and where the line ended there. But then when I came back and looked, I thought, no, I don't like that. I want it to go right to the edge of the page. So if it's got a straight line, and that's personal preference. If it's got a straight line on one side, I'm making it go right to the edge of the page. Not like this further in. Even with these further on, I've gone right to the edge of those dotted lines there. So I'm just giving you a quick look through this book before I stick the uh, last few pages in. So every page looks like it's got something else showing through, as though the page is torn and there's another colour underneath. And I like that look, that scrappy look. And the thing is, there's no measuring with this. There's no special cutting. These look like just the page has been ripped in a couple of places because it's torn on both sides of the washi tape. So, you know, you can tear these scraps however you want and just add them in whatever position you want it to be in. Some weird and wonderful pages there. It's consistently the same in that it's the same washi tape and the same colour scheme. But every page is different. No two pages are the same. Now see these ones I started to go right up to the edge there instead of leaving that little line. And I prefer that look to the other. But you know that's just personal preference. So here's my scrappy page I'm working on. And if I go over here I will find. Like I mean even with this one there's only a tiny little bit on that side. Uh, it's up to you how you um, do this. Okay, so I have my washi tape here. And what I do is I just peel it up, tear off a bit, and then I just start tearing. Now there's a point there 
and I want one end to be a point and then I just start tearing and put that along that edge there like that now then what I'm going to do is cut off this excess now I'll put it over here and I'm not real fussy about where it goes I just keep filling in gaps and then I've got this little bit over here and I might bring it up to this flat edge here and tear off the excess sorry cut off the excess at the top here and then that can go in here as well now I haven't got many pages to go so I'll just do a couple with you just to give you the idea the other thing I did was with some of these I might have torn a bit off like that and stuck it on here and then I'm going to tear down here right to the edge there like so I've got a pointy bit there and a straight edge so I can go along here but I also got a third bit out of that piece of um, tape and it's now rough on both sides it's torn on both sides I'd like it to end in a point so I'm going to just put a little cut there from the corner and tear a bit of excess off so that goes to a point there and on the next page I'm going to make this look like it's a rip down the page see that now that's fit that might fit in the corner there yeah well there we are so we've got a little bit in the corner there and we've got this little bit can come up this way here like that so it's got a, look, a little bit of a rip and then we just cut off the excess on the edges now these bits even those are, are tiny but that doesn't mean we can't use them somewhere see what I mean so that you've got all sizes in this now that's looking a bit full so I need to be putting more on that side now the other way you can do it is you can tear across your tape wait a minute like that and just have some little short pieces if you don't want to use if you're starting to say get to the end of your roll and you don't want to run out of tape before you get to the end then maybe you could start putting in some little short corners there it is I'll put that back in and I've got this little one here so that's got a little bit in the corner there and we might peel this across and give another little bit in this corner up here oh no yep there so it doesn't have to be lots of tape a little bit and a little bit there you might want a bit more on that so you can peel there I want a little point on that so I'll cut that off there and maybe just have that coming out of that corner too now here's the last few pages in the book and here's the last scrappy page so now you've got a nice little gift it's not very expensive it doesn't require a lot of technical skill to be able to do this and it doesn't require a big expense either um, you know it's not cost me a lot of money I'm not even a full roll of washi tape uh, a half of a paper napkin a little bit of white paint and a $2.25 book and I had this pretty little thing but you could make up your own with a bit of decorative paper and um, plain paper uh, and uh, just a bit of uh, Mod Podge uh, white acrylic paint and double sided tape and a paintbrush and a sponge brush uh, there's not a lot of equipment there required I have a lot more of these books I'll be doing with other ways to decorate so subscribe and hit the little bell if you haven't already so that you'll be notified of the new videos 
uh, please push the like button if you enjoyed what you saw and by all means if you've got any questions put them in the comments below because I answer every comment. Have a great week. Bye for now.